about time. Hey. You better answer your fucking phone. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Hey, buddy. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center, down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. Out of the clink. I need to talk to Michael about it. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate.
they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it!
a visual on the convoy. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs>
lucky these projects take so long. We need to get back. I don't have all the data I need. Looks good, looks good. Where are you going? I need my eyes on that hole. ideas. It's going to take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. <laughs> 